Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today EB's got some more cool stuff from Funko. Well, thanks for checking out my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Today we're gonna go over some Masters of the Universe Funko Shop exclusive items which I've had for about a week or so now. I've just been a little slow on putting together the video. So that's what we're gonna do today. Yay! Let's just grab, I have three items. A large, a medium, and a smaller than medium. They actually are different sizes, just to prove it. So yeah, we'll start out with the small one. Some of you may know what these are because I posted pictures of what I was getting on my uh, EB's Cool Stuff Facebook page, but some of you may not because I don't have that many likes on Facebook yet. Boom Shagalaka number one. This one is Grizzor and he is flocked. So they make a regular one, but the Funko Shop exclusive version is the flocked one. And if any of you had this back in the day, and you had the original figure, you, you understand why they did a flocked version. Because the original one, he was like a piece of shag carpet. He was one of my favorite Masters of the Universe figures because he was so whack attack. And I was very pleased that they came out with this. Now the original one, sorry, the regular non-flocked one, I wasn't super interested in just because, meh, you know, he wasn't flocked. And then when I saw that they were coming out with a flocked one, I really, really hoped I was going to get the Funko Shop exclusive, but I've had some bad experiences with Funko Shop as of the last six, nine, ten months, but I successfully procured this one. Super sweet. I'll uh, probably not take them out on camera, but some point during the video, possibly even right now, you'll see a close-up on the turntable so you can chiggity check them out there. He is pretty sweet. I'm looking at him now. I do like how he has his little crossbow and how he is flocked. I mean, I've said that a million times, but he's freaking flocked. One of the funny things I remember doing when I was a kid is I would actually take the old school uh, figure and I'd rub him on my face because he was fluffy and I was a weird child. Mm-hmm. I was. I was weird. Obviously, look at all the stuff behind me. Normal people don't do this. Well, that's enough on Grizzor. So let's go on to number two. We'll go with the slightly larger box. This one's a little heavier too. Some of you may know why. Let's get them out. And Skeletor. This is one of the art series Skeletors and this is freaking sweet. Sadly, I will not be taking this out because I don't want to. It's all wrapped in hard and plastic. It's got one of their, their hard cases too. If you've seen some of the other uh, art series ones too, they did some Batman ones, and then I have over sitting over there that I can't remember the name of, but the Star Wars ones, they did a handful of those too. I keep all those wrapped because I just don't intend on taking them out of the case, so who really cares? He's pretty sweet. And by pretty sweet, I mean Super Totes Awesome Sweet. They do make a He-Man one, or they are making a He-Man one. I'm not sure why they didn't release it at the same time, but this sold out. I think in less than 90 seconds. So I was super stoked to be able to get this. Again, Funko Shop exclusive, can only get it the one time. And I don't know what the limited edition aspect of it is. I don't believe, there sure isn't a number on here. Oh, you can you can see the He-Man on the back. So they have the purple Skeletor and the green He-Man, kind of like it was the slime man, but it's, uh, it's marbled. I'll still do a close up, hopefully on the turntable and you can see it a little bit better. It's gonna be kind of hard to shoot it because there's a lot of reflections off of the plastic, which you probably have noticed already. But this one, I'm, I'm very excited to have. This was the main reason I tried for the Funko Shop exclusive ones is because I wanted this bad mamma jamma. And I do want the He-Man. No word on when He-Man's coming out unless I already missed it. Well, there's small and medium. Let's go with large. Doo -doo -doo. This one is also a unique to the, the, the figure itself or sculpt itself is not unique, but something about it is unique to the Funko Shop exclusive. And it is Skeletor with Panthor and he's fuzzy. 
He's a fuzzy panther. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy. I like him fuzzy. So, as you can see, Flocked, which is what I refer to as Fuzzy and the Funko Shop exclusive. This one, like I was saying, they did another release of this, but Panther wasn't Flocked. And if you're a fan of the old school figures, you really want the Flocked one, because the original one, the original Masters of the Universe, Panther was Flocked. So, why not get the Flocked one? This is pretty exciting. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of the paint job on um, Skeletor here, but uh, that's okay. I They started to do a lot more green on them, which is kind of more, I think, more like the, the old school figures, which I kind of understand why they did it. I just liked back when they did not that, more of the skull, yellow skull. But hey, I'll accept it either way. And on the back here, you can see a cross sell for a few of the other ones that they've got. You can see the, the Grizzor there, and that's the regular one, the, the non-flocked uh, one. So they did a She-Ra, and they have a special glow-in-the-dark She-Ra. I didn't get that one, unfortunately. Turn the box here so you can see the pictures better. Uh, I did not get that She-Ra, unfortunately. Maybe I still will find it somewhere. It was okay if I didn't. But that one wasn't a Funko Shop exclusive. That was a specialty series, so it's only sold at a few of the smaller places, like a Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth, but it's not going to be at a Target or... Uh, like a Walmart, places like that. Well, this is the Rides edition, and they did a He-Man with Battle Cat as well. I have that too, so they're going to look pretty sweet. I, I tend to keep these in the boxes just because I think they display pretty well like that, and I just like being able to still set stuff on top of them because they are a pretty big, pretty big unit, if I do say so myself. Well, there we go. More Funko fun, and I'm a Funko fanatic. I know I've been saying I like the sodas quite a bit, but I still like the pops too. Don't get me wrong. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, bro. Till next time, peace out.